Hey guys! On today's episode of Everyday Adventures, we're going to be doing something a little different. Uh, Whitley has been asking for months to make a lemonade stand because she wanted to raise money for something. What would you like to raise money for? I would like to raise money for people that don't have homes and their water source and all the needs that they have and meet their needs if they don't know God and give them the Bible. So she's been wanting to use the uh, proceeds from her lemonade stand to raise money for that, but we live in an area where not very many people are passing by our home, so I had the idea that maybe Whitley could make some artwork because she loves to do crafts, right Whitley? And maybe we could sell those and uh, she could take the money that she makes from her artwork and use that to um, purchase the things that she wants to send to those individuals. So we are going to be letting the paint with 11 by 14 canvas today. And I drew this picture, um, not very artsy, but of a snowman. And I had to use uh, Microsoft Word for the letters because my handwriting is terrible. Hey, but it says, good in cursive. Well, it says, every good and perfect gift is from above, and that's James 1, 17. So, we are going to let Whitley paint that today. We'll make a video of her painting it. We have uh, several different paint colors and uh, paint brushes and spouncers, and I don't know what this is. I love that giant spouncer. Like Maybe pretty. this is a sponsor too. I don't know. But um, anyway, we're not exactly sure what all we will need. So we have all kinds of stuff. So let's get started. Oh, and give Whitley a big thumbs up because we know her painting is going to be amazing. Okay, guys. So I am going to start off by just putting some paint right here. Okay. And I'm just going to take some. Right here. Oh, cloudless blue. So I mixed these two together and she painted her board with that. And after this dries, we're probably going to take a lunch break. Um, and I'm sure it's hungry, right Lily? Yeah, I'm ready to get a hot dog. A hot dog. Um, after that, we are going to use this transfer paper, graphite paper. And um, she will trace the snowman and the things on the board. Um, you put this behind the paper on top of the uh, canvas and you trace it with a pencil and then it will transfer onto the board, which that makes for so easy cool. painting. It is really cool. Have you used it? I have done this one time before, yes. Does it actually work? It does. Oh my word. Yeah. That is so cool. Tell them where you got it. I got it at Hobby Lobby with a 40% off coupon. 
All right, we'll be back after it dries and after lunch. Okay, so we've placed a piece of graphite paper on the board, and now we're going to take this and tape it on the board. Just tape all the sides down. Well, not all the sides, actually. What we'll do is probably tape just the top of it, and that way we can move the graphite paper around. I didn't see any that were any pieces that were big enough for an 11 by 14, so we'll just move the graphite paper around as we're tracing. Well, it might copy this. Might copy what? This. No, it's only going to copy what you trace. Pull it off and let us see. Just flip it up. There it is. Wow. Yeah, that's, yeah, see how it got moved? Yeah, that's okay. We can fix that. It looks pretty good. All right. So we got a little off on our nose. That'll be okay. Because it looks like there's just little a little line through the nose. Yeah, we can fix that. Can, you know what it reminds me of? What? A beak for a bird. Mm -hmm, yeah, it does look like a, a beak. A toucan beak. <laughs> Alright, so now we'll do some more painting. It's got two mouths. <laughs> We flipped it around. Whitley is going to do the hat. Top of the hat, she wants to do white. Alright, so Whitley has painted the snowman portion. 
and uh, now we are going to put the uh, transfer paper back on. And um, what you doing, babe? These are all the colors that we're going to be using for the hat bags. Well, we'll show them here in a second. All of those, okay? So we're going to put the transfer paper back on and go ahead and draw the arms back on in the face and the uh, present because parts of the present are going to match the hat. So we want to make sure that we've got them on there so we can do all that color at one time, right, Lily? Mm -hmm. um, the tricky part about this is that you have to get the um, this paper line back up with this so that you draw it on correctly, especially since we already have some of the nose there. So we will get it taped back on and then we will let Willie trace it. Okay. Pull it up. Let's see. Oh, yeah, well, I think that's pretty good, don't you? Mm -hmm. That's okay. That's good. Okay, so we're gonna mix what colors, Willie? This one and this one. Okay, Martin, what colors are those, though? Bright blue and pansy. Okay. Go ahead and put it in there. That's probably good. And this needs the same amount. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I need to go get your paintbrush. So we are going to be our. Um, we're going to be using apricot or apricot. Apricot or apricot. Um, Do you want it to be lighter or darker than that, or you think that's a good color? Oh, uh, I think this is a good color. Okay, go ahead and do it. For a carrot, at least. Okay. Oh, that looks just like it is on the bottom. doing the arm for 
I'm going to be using the tiniest brush and we are going to be using, let's see, what's that? Dark brown and rich brown. Okay. So I'm going to squirt. That's plenty. Yeah. I just went to the bathroom a lot. <laughs> Maybe just use a little bit of that brown, okay? Yeah. Just a little bit. Okay, let's go. Looks like the same. He is going to paint the buttons a mixture of bright blue and cool blue. Mm, no, it's not cool blue, but it's... That one's bright blue. Yeah, bright blue. And that one's cloudless, I'm sorry. Yeah, cloudless. cloudless. Okay, we so you can use a little paintbrush. Start to get stony. So it took literally two days to paint everything off and on. And uh, so Whitley, you want to show them where we're at now? Yeah. We are going to be doing the letters. Yeah, you're going to have to back it up. Sally, watch out. There you go. There you There's can see the it. Sally Claus instead of the Silas. <laughs> So she's painted everything and now um, I'm actually going to go back in with a paint pen and do the words and some outlining just because I don't know that her fine motor skills are quite where they need to be for her to be able to do that kind of thing. Um, but we will video that part. I'm not sure if I'll do it. Okay, our tripod broke. Um, so. We will, um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do the uh, outlining and stuff while she's going to school today, but we will get it done and then we'll show you the finished product. Big thumbs up for Whitley because she did an awesome job. Look how cool that is. Good job, Whit. Thank you. All right, here's my paint pen. Um, it is a medium size tip. Wasn't exactly sure what size to get. Shake it up.
Okay, it's time for the big reveal. So Whitley's gonna try to sell this painting for how much money, Whitley? $30. Yep. And their special need is God. So um, we are going to try to sell this painting for a lot of Bibles to start off with. So I'm gonna get 10 Bibles for Christmas. And so if I get another 10, that would make 20. And then, so if I do that, I think, I think it would just be a really, they could go and share their Bibles. With, with other people, them. yeah. I think we should get one, one per family. Yeah, we'll just have to, I think they'll decide who gets what. But we'll just send them, okay? Show us the painting. Da, da, da. Wow. Oh, don't oh. break it before it's fault. <laughs> that looks great, Willie. Good job. All right, so if you like Willie's painting and you think she'll be able to sell it, give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and remember to make every day an adventure. And make sure you hit the big button, whatever it's called down there. <laughs> All right, bye bye. Bye bye. Whitley was able to sell her first painting and already has an order for a second one. She's super excited to show you how her next project turns out.